G'day guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video we're going to be doing my predictions and preview for the AFL 2024 semi-finals. We have two monster matchups this weekend to go through and predict so before we get into this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe and feel free to comment down below your predictions for this week's semi-finals. Now let's get straight into things. Alrighty, so now let's get straight into the semi-final predictions and our first semi-final is between Port Adelaide and Hawthorne on the Friday night, so at 7.40pm at the Adelaide Oval. Wowee, I cannot wait for this final. It is going to be insane. All of Australia is going to be tuning into this one to watch the Red Hot Hawks and I cannot believe how much of the clear favourites are in this game. In terms of odds, in terms of general opinion, in terms of tipping percentages, everyone in all facets is just just backing the Hawks in to win this game, but it's for good reason. It just feels like they're becoming the real deal. They're defying all the odds and they're just playing this relentless brand of football. Filled with run and dare, but then also filled with such composure and cleanness. They are just the perfect team at the moment. They absolutely tore the Bulldogs a new one in the elimination final. And I feel like with the extra confidence they're going to get from that win, they're just going to be even more dangerous and just even more scary. And then also on the flip side, Port Adelaide's confidence is down. They just got smacked at home by 84 points. It just feels Feels like this is the game where Hawthorne can pounce and you know maybe advance to a prelim final. I think a few mental demons for Port Adelaide are going to occur. You know, will it be two straight years of going out in straight sets? Hawthorne, it seems like they don't care. They're just going to go out there and have fun, and do what they can do. And I feel like for me, the key facet in this game is going to be the Hawks forward line. You've got, you know, these young stars that are just playing with such charisma and just such confidence. And they're really lifting the crowd and lifting all their teammates. And the three I'm talking about is Jack Ginevan, the Wizard Nick Watson, and C-Mac Connor McDonald. These guys, with their incredible goals, their incredible celebrations, they have really been the main turning point for Hawthorne. And I just think they're going to be incredibly dangerous in this game. And I think they're going to be the key determining factor of for this result and I do think they are going to stand up to the occasion once again. I think it's just going to be too much to handle for this poor Adelaide defense. Um, now, one part of the ground where I do think Port Adelaide will have the advantage is in the middle of the ground in terms of clearances and whatnot. Obviously, they've got Rosie, Butters, if he does pull up, Jason Horn francis Ollie Wines, Travis Boak. They've got some experienced guys in there who can win you the clearance and get you that first use of the football. But I just don't think it matters, honestly. I just think with Hawthorne's work rate and their just really good zones and their ability to switch the ball so quickly, I think it will make up for it. Now... I think another key important factor here is no Dan Houston is really going to have an effect on Port Adelaide in this game. They're just not going to have any chance to really counter this run of Hawthorne. And I just think they're going to be rattled badly here, Port Adelaide. Now, we did see when these two teams faced off in the home and away season, an incredible game. The Hawks are absolutely smacking Port Adelaide. Port came from the clouds and won by one point at home. So, it, it is, you never know. We, like, we know the Hawks, they like to play some chaotic football, so it can end up going either way. But I just feel like regardless of this home ground advantage, I think the Hawks are going to be too much to handle here for Port Adelaide. I think in a chaotic game and in a bit of an inaccurate game, it'll stay somewhat close, but I think uh, the Hawks will be the clear better side in this game. And I have Hawthorne winning by 22 points in this one to head through to the prelim final versus the Sydney Swans. And I have Port Adelaide being eliminated in straight sets for the second straight year. Alrighty, so now our second semi-final. It is once again an absolute cracker. We have the GWS Giants taking on the Brisbane Lions on the Saturday night, 7.30pm at NG Stadium. Wowee, this one is going to be good. This one feels exactly like that semi-final back in 2019. And it could end up being a very similar game. Now, both teams are in some pretty good form recently, and I think this game is just going to be an absolute showdown. Now, in this one, I think the Lions will try and show their guns by trying to utilize their dominance in the middle of the ground. We all know Brisbane are such a great clearance side, and they're super strong around the middle of the ground. Obviously, that really good midfield with Lockie Neal, Josh Dunkley, Ashcroft, McCluggage, and a few other guys who rotate in there. We know at times the Giants' midfield isn't the greatest, so I think Brisbane are going to have a massive advantage getting their first use and the first look at the football and for me I think that's going to be the major difference factor in this game we know both teams have really strong defenses so I think this game will be relatively low scoring we know both teams have you know some really good forward lines so I just think the difference maker will be the midfields in this game and I just think Brisbane have the upper hand but we know the Giants for some reason they always find a way you can never really count them out 
And I think if it's a low scoring game, they'll be able to maybe, you know, find a way to get in front or at least stay in the contest. But I just think the Lions are going to be the better side on the night. I really have rated Brisbane this entire final series. I think at times a real difference maker is if you can win the ball at the middle. And I think Brisbane really have that ability. They also have some amazing talent in front of goal, like Cameron, Danaher, Lohman and Rayner. I think Brisbane will be the better side, but I think that inaccuracy woes is going to continue. And I think, obviously, we also know on the flip side of that, GWS are most of the time a pretty accurate side and they don't waste a lot of opportunity. So I think, you know, both of those things will counteract, which I think will keep the game relatively close. But I just think the Lions will hit the front late with an incredible goal. And I think they're going to win a thriller here to eliminate the GWS Giants in straight sets. I have Brisbane winning by two points to head to the MCG for a date with Geelong. I've gone two sides to go out in straight sets. I'm just backing in these elimination final sides. I've got the confidence. I've got the run behind them. But thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think of my predictions. Maybe put your predictions down below as well. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And I'll see you all soon.